Hello, people of Earth. I just went back into the cap, Captain Shepard's. No, Commander Shepard's. <laughs> okay, Commander Shepard's armor locker, so I could change his casual appearance. It's to put me in this weird suit. Yeah, that one. So it gives you another suit. Okay. It's a shame that you can't change the colors of the little patches there. Would have been cool to switch that to a blue Cerberus patch. So now I want to see what next job we can do. Huh. Zayed, the price of revenge. Sounds pretty interesting, so let's do that. So after talking with Zayed, holy man, it's kind of freaking me out, this thing. I've learned more about him. Like the fact that he's kind of... He's there. He'll do whatever he wants. Oh. He'll do whatever you want him to do if you pay him the right amount of money. Which ain't bad and all, but you know, we can kind of go against this thing. Wow. Help Zaid. This last mission I just did was help Kasumi. So is this going to be a recurring thing? To help Zaid? Oh yeah, I had a guy, I guess. Maybe I should go get some resources after a while. By probing planets, it sounds like. It's kind of odd, you know, the fact that you want to probe planets. So why would you want to? Okay, here we are. After traveling for a while. Let's land and help this guy out. He seems decent, you know, he's like... You won't love him, but you won't hate him kind of guy. It's like that guy you respect. Loyal. Ooh. Oh, you can go in a little red outfit. It's kind of creepy. I don't know if I want to keep you in that. Ooh, yeah. Let's rank you up. Weapon damage. Oh, yeah. That's a big boost. Okay. Concussive shot. Yeah, I think that'll, that'll help a lot. Oh, never mind. You won me over with the colors. It just looked odd in your picture. Yes. This cat, man, he likes tickling himself on the wall. Like he scratches his ear. And he slaps the wall when doing it. And he freaks me out when he does it. Because, you know, sometimes it's dark. We are landing on the planet Zoria. So sounds like Tolly's name. Miss Tolly. Holy frick, this cat's freaking out. Did you hear that? Hopefully, that's all he's gonna do. <laughs> Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Squad Bravo. A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Well, I see a bush, but I don't see an ambush. I see a dead body. Okay, it says dead bodies at the top. This way, let me minimize this. What could this dead body have? Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Okay. You have the con. Oh, what the freak? It's a monkey. Black and white monkey. What the hell? Well, that was kind of abusive cat. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He seemed friendly. Oh, freak. What you looking for? Can I punch you? So you only die if I shoot you? <laughs> I like how he's holding his gun up. He's like, nope, screw it. I'm just going to kill you. Uh-oh. Now the music has came in, and it's stunning. Ooh, these guys like to hide in the strangest places. But to keep them alive. <laughs> I just shot him in the balls. That is a bad way to die. I <laughs> shot him in the butt and he died. What the frick was that? It's a weird little glitch. Holy frick. Take her out. 
She's got rockets. <laughs> Your voice is so dumb. What the hell? Damn it! You guys, man. And your silly helmets. Blow up now. Ah. Ooh, you got good aim, girl. Not good enough. Damn it, that wasn't good. I should have said, but mine's better. I was gonna investigate that, but eh, no reason to. Haha, <laughs> soon as all of you. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. That's why you want to kill him? I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Ah. Oh. Well, you could tell me a little more about it. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. That's quite a long time. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? No, that's Vito not a grudge. Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? I take it you to spit out the bullet. You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. <laughs> We'd better get moving. I just stopped the elevator in the first place. Just wasting our time. Could have talked Emergency while it was moving. All squads mess at the gatehouse. Now. They know we're here. <laughs> that loud bridge ain't helping. On, you son of a bitch. Well, turn your head, Shepard. What the frick? Turn your head. What the hell was that about? It's like, yeah, I'm just gonna look back. He's doing it again. He's looking at a certain area. That's weird. Is he just making sure they're following them? Here, I'll press C. That'll make sure. This is the guy I take it. Zaid Masani. Oh. You finally tracked me down. Yeah. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Got nearsighted, old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. <laughs> well, we're inside this thing, man. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. You could have sounded a little more... Life threatening when doing that. What the hell are you doing? We're gonna have to run from this, aren't we? Ooh. It's pretty cool, I got my armor. The gate. Just next time you're gonna blow something up. I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. Damn. This isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. Once Vito's dead, we can discuss anything you want. That's all he wants is to get this guy dead, right? I didn't know we were coming here to save people. Whoa! He got me. Real good. Freak! This place is like... The Halo map. Ooh, Ooh we're finally landing in a parallel beam. 
Oh, I thought he was gonna be right there and shoot me. Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! Holy freak. No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. I get why you want Vito dead, but is he really worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Well, he sounds like a bad guy. He needs help in a mercenary gang. Mercenary gangs are bad, so... Damn it. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! 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 Just start running! Uh-oh. The cameraman really took a piece of metal to the face, didn't he? Holy frick! I just about did. Damn it! <laughs> I could have given him a. Oh, cool! You got it. Just can't get over how cool this Kasumi is, man. Uh oh. What the frick? Did he just. Is he dead? You dead there, buddy? Yeah, you're dead. Did you say Canada? That'd be cool. Get out of there before she blows up, man. Ooh. You alright, Kasumi? Wait, where are you? Is that you? Are you a bunch of meat chunks that disappear? Where are you? Where are you, Kasumi? Where are you? Damn. Ooh, 6,000 credits. That's a generous tip, my woman. My my good man. We can use this. You said that so calmly, even though this place is burning to the ground. We've been uh oh, 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 oh. Damn it. Right between the eyes. <laughs> Stop hiding behind you. We were in unison until you, you did that thing. Go get them. Oh, go get them. <laughs> Wait, I have this stuff, right? I can aim it at that poor sucker right there. Hit him right between the eyes. Oh. This is getting hell of annoying. Now I gotta. Re <laughs> you really are stubborn. You won't die. You think I would have reloaded? I didn't have ammo though. Come back up. Oh, come on. I want to hit this body, man. I think there's something important up there. Okay, I can't get up there. Oh, wait, there's stairs here. But there's no green patch, so never mind. Just a waste. Oh, what's down there? I don't think I want to find out, but this thing might fall off any minute. Any better weapons now? Okay, I got some ammo back. Ooh, I'm finding some good palladium here on this map. Ooh. Uh huh. I'm gonna crush my little pipe here. This looks interesting. <laughs> it sure does. Oh, it's a flamethrower. Is that fuel? No? Okay. Usually when I see a computer like that, I think you can take money from it. Can't blame me. Here they come. Seems like whenever there's a new weapon, there's a weapons locker here. Just in case people didn't like it. Burn, you son of a gun. Oh, oh. I said burn, not blow. Uh-oh. Coast is clear, my friends. Let us ride in the hill. <laughs> I can't take you seriously when your voice keeps morphing like that. Yes. Uh oh. Where the hell are you? I doubt this whole organization is gonna end just because we kill this guy. He's just one of the few leaders, right? Was actually a founder. 
Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Play nice. Damn it, get out of my way, man. What if Garrus turned out to be in one of those suits? I'd feel so I'd feel so bad. They were all coming from here, but now they're not. A good sniper rifle shock takes them all out. Kaboom. No more childhood. Yes! Burn, my friend! Oh, frick, frick, frick! Damn it! Well, thank you, but damn it! Was that a reference to that kid from The Simpsons? Uh oh. Why are you leaning forward, Shepard? Frick! Okay, I thought I was gonna die, but that thing's gotta get out of the way. Holy freak, man, just let me get in this case cover. Ugh. Okay, good. Freak, man, there's too many of these damn guys. And that stupid fireball keeps coming back. <laughs> okay, that one's gone. I should take that one off. Uh. Uh oh, uh oh. Man, I'm switching to a better gun for this. Holy freak, man. He just blew up in the meat chunks. I didn't know robots had health. <laughs> just trying to get him to pop him with the stuff, but he just blew up real quick. My aiming is terrible. Okay, that seems like all. Oh, maybe I should go there. Where that tiny little green light is. We almost got it, man. Okay, now I'm thinking we gotta go there. Just because you've got a prettier door. Maybe we couldn't get here because the Mac was here. Couldn't leave until, you know, the Mac came out. Saeed, please. You know, it was nothing personal, just business, I swear. That's why you made fun of him. It was 20 years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Saeed, please. I'm gonna die here, man! Do something! Try, you son of a bitch. Damn, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. He's burning alive! Holy freak, cool guys don't look at explosions, but in real life you'd probably go flying away. Unless that planet has different gravity than we're used to. That was like a guilty pleasure. That was... I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. I'm gonna go talk to him now. See what he thinks about the mission. So now he's loyal to? And he's got a little power for me? No messages for you, Commander. Man! People just... They don't love me anymore, do they? They don't love me at all. It's nothing personal. They just... They don't love me. Not as much as I love me. Wait, Said was like over here, right? Starboard cargo? Yeah, talk to me now. This mission takes me back. Hell of a mission down there on Zoria. I appreciate what you did down there. Might not seem like it, but you did the right thing. Killing Vito solves a lot of problems, and not just my own. Could you stop that, Nermal? Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. <laughs> Keep talking. I should let you go. Okay. 
Talk more later. Okay, you should let me go, and I should go. How you guys doing? I just heard the collectors hit the. I'm just gonna interrupt you there. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? Outside of those T6 FBA couples. Oh yeah, you've mentioned those. You could find them in the Omega markets if you want to help. Okay, I'll go to Omega yeah. and get those. Well, do, Commander. Thanks for letting me know, buddy. Real big on you. <laughs> that was my really bad attempt at trying to sound like uh, uh, Ken. I think his name is. It's Ken and Gabby. So let's go all the way to Omega. Pick up this stupid little thing they want. Ooh, but then there's that firewalker thing. That sounds interesting. I think I should check that out. Maybe it's a robot, you know? Something that can walk in flames. Therefore, getting the name Firewalker. Ooh, freak. Okay. Like in The Walking Dead. It's a walker on fire. So it's a firewalker. Omega. Here we go. Omega Markets? That's where I'm gonna need to go to get that stupid thing. Man, I don't like it down there. It's so... It's not homely. Or homey. I don't know what the word is. It doesn't feel like home. It's a creepy little place. It's like lobsters. Cover is the best way to protect yourself from enemy fire. Lobsters are the best way to protect yourself from enemy fire. Because the lobsters will just sizzle all the way up. What's up with that weird body right there? It's like spreading his legs while not spreading his legs. Doing jumping jacks. Actually, no, that's not a great way to say that. Oh, <laughs> it's red. Oh, okay, you're both in red suits. Is everybody going to be in red once I finish all of them? Because that is not... I, I don't think I'd like that. Oh, but the color always, you know, took me off a little bit, but it might be better now. Oh, yeah, I can vouch for the color. Not the worst thing you've ever seen. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Cool. That's hella groovy. Let's get there right now. The apartments to the stupid, uh, stupidness. Just waiting here to, for the door to open. I actually forget what this thing is. Shut your all face, Batarian! Wait, I don't think you... Are you a Batarian? What am I thinking about? Uh, I don't need this, you smoking little Elcor. All I know is that it had couplings at the end of it. <laughs> Ooh, maybe it was at that place that the Corin guy was at. Wait, I swear I got. Is it? Is it? Yes. They will be delivered. This looks interesting. Ooh. Ooh, shotgun damage. Holy freak! That was a big chunk of my money there. But that freaking Krogan will love it. Where's this go? Okay. You know, I wonder if there's any other little places I should inspect here. Come on, let me in. Annoyed. If she wanted you, she'd be there. Oh wait, I actually think I remember on one of the missions I got a little data pad somewhere. And it's like, you should find, you should send this to Arya. So let's do that right now. Hey, Grizz. Grizzly. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's Arya's interest in protecting? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Uh -huh. What's the Blood Pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. 
He can't keep his damn mouth shut. <laughs> Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. Oh damn. Well, I, I'm kind of a good guy for him. Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. Oh, okay. I could do it. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. Okay, I'm just gonna go talk to Arya and... What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You do that. Oh, she wants me to come back. Don't worry, Grizz, I got you downstairs, you said. That door's locked downstairs, you said. Okay, right there. Downstairs, you said. 